for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am still a shameless fan of getting free stuff. And uh, what we have here is a new shipment of stuff from GearBest. Uh, they reached out to me a while back, and they have a huge variety of stuff, including all sorts of electronic tools, 3D printing stuff, tactical stuff. They do have some vaguely Nerf stuff, but uh, not a whole lot, and it's mostly off-brand stuff. But their tactical stuff has proved to be very high quality, as well as all of the tools that I've gotten from them so far. So let's take a look at what they have sent me today. We will start with the tactical stuff. They sent me, uh, they had a pair of these safety goggles and designed, I assume, for Airsoft um, with the mesh instead of lenses, which I really like because I'm an incredibly sweaty and humid fellow and I fog up glasses pretty much instantaneously. Uh, and these give you eye protection without having that issue. So these ones are much more flexible than the previous ones I had and will actually properly conform to your face. Uh, and I've used them a lot in uh, a number of events now because they allow me to have iPro without having to have the full mask uh, or using some kind of glasses that are just going to fog up. I, I forgot to bring them to uh, West vs. Zombies and so you see me in some of the pictures with glasses that are fogged. So these are lovely. I will have the link to them. I, uh, I, I think they're very comfortable. They've got padding on the inside. Uh, very adjustable. Uh, yeah, so those are lovely. They then also did finally send me one of those shotgun holsters. Uh, when I first asked them for one, it was out of stock, so I just ordered it myself, but they did send me one, so the link will be down there again. Uh, as has in the previous video that I showed this off, it will hold an inordinate number of different blasters, which is really very excellent. And if you were to open up this seam and replace it with elastic, you could fit just about anything. It has molly on both sides, which is fantastic, so it's ambidextrous, though the uh, strap, it does come with a shoulder strap uh, that they have tucked in there, um, which attacks to the D-rings, which are only on one side, but, you know, you can't have everything. And then it has shell holders, so that is a lovely one. They also did send me another one of the shoulder rig holster sets, the two pistol holsters that, again, will fit a large variety of Nerf blasters, and with minor modification will fit even more. Uh, good construction, very adjustable, very comfortable. I highly recommend those. Link will again be in the description. This was the final tactical thing that I got sent. I wasn't sure what it was, but it looked like a pouch, so I ordered it. And it is a shotgun shell pouch. You know, you could use it for Busby shells, you could uh, use it for uh, Mega Darts, though these seem a l perhaps a little tight for Mega Darts. I need a Mega Dart. Mega Darts! Yeah, definitely a little tart for Mega Darts. So maybe regular darts. Or again, Busby shells. Um, not the most useful for Nerf, just because, um, obviously, shotgun shells are a lot shorter than would normally fit in here. But it's a nice little pouch. I'm sure if you acquired one, you could find a use for it. I'm not sure what I will do with it. I have a couple of ideas, depending on some characters that I might be playing in the future, so... That may come in handy, but all in all, not the most useful for Nerf for a variety of reasons. The construction is excellent, every bit as good as I've seen with anything else. Good strong Velcro, good molly, good stitching. Lovely. Just not the most useful, because it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting it to just be a regular pouch, which you could use it as. It's just full of elastic, so it makes it a little bit awkward. Um, for tools, I picked up some 3D printing filament. And I got a four-pack of metallics. So there's a copper, a bronze, a silver, and a gold. I have no idea what I'm going to print with them, but it would make doing steampunk stuff super easy because I could print my own gears and, and things like that. Um, and if I wanted to, you know, steampunk a strife, I could print all of the 3D printed parts um, in this, and it would save me a lot of trouble with painting or that sort of thing. So... That's kind of neat that they have me metallic ones. I do already have a, a silver that somebody uh, gave me to print stuff in, though now I've got a different color. And we'll see how well this stuff holds up, being that you know slightly metallic color, it'll be interesting. Uh, it is 1.75 uh, millimeter PLA, which is what I currently use in my printers. So that should be fun to tinker with. I look forward to trying some stuff, maybe making like uh, gold sight tokens for events or something. Um, so that was neat. They also sent me a pack of shrink wrap, which 
conveniently comes in its own little holder, which is lovely. And it comes in a whole bunch of different sizes and colors, which should make uh, do, doing interiors a lot easier. Uh, all the way up to fairly large stuff, down to the really small stuff that isn't going to be a whole lot of use for the stuff I work with, but uh, I like that there are a bunch of different colors, and it's nice that it came in its own container. So that is that. The final item I picked up, and I simply had to because it was just so nifty looking, was this mean looking flashlight. I mean, you could seriously ruin someone's day with that. Uh, I assume it's meant to be a, an emergency light for, for like in your car, so these are designed for breaking your car windows, and then it has the cutter for uh, cutting your seatbelt off if you're trapped in a car. So that is fairly neat. It has a couple of other interesting features. The button on the back does not turn the flashlight on. It makes it make noise and blink. Which is interesting. It then has several modes. It obviously has your regular flashlight mode, which is LED, so it's flickering in the camera, which is fascinating. It's not actually flickering in real life. Um, if you push the button forward rather than pushing down on it, it'll switch mode. So there's, it's light mode for three, and then you get an actual strobe. Now it really is strobing. And then the final setting is SOS. Which is neat. Again, definitely designed for, you know, a, an emergency safety kind of flashlight. It is powered by a single very large Ultrafire, an 18650, uh, 3000 milliamp, 3.7 um, LiPo, or lithium ion battery. Which is neat because you can just, those are fairly common, fairly standard. You can order those, you can replace those. Uh, and then it is, in fact, those are rechargeable, and the re the charging is actually built into the flashlight. It has a little port that is covered up, but you can just uncover it, and then it comes with two different options. It comes with a car charger option, which is nice, just 12 volt into your car, and then it also comes with a regular wall option. Now, unfortunately, they apparently no longer carried a US version, so I got a European plug for it, but they were nice enough to just add this in for free, as far as I could tell. I, I didn't see it as part of the order, but um, when it showed up, it came with the adapter, so you could plug it into a regular wall socket. So that is super, super cool. And of course, it's in my colors, so I had to have it, and it is fantastic. Now I need to find a holster for this um, that's large enough. I might have one that might be big enough for this. It might be a little too small. We will see. But this is definitely going to become a part of my regular gear just because I like it. It's mean, it's black, and it's orange, and it's fantastic. And it makes noise. Which is neat. All right, so that is the stuff that Gearbest has sent me. All of the links will be down in the description, of course. Uh, and if there's anything else on their website you would like me to check out because you're interested in it but are you know dubious not sure if you want to spend the money without somebody saying yeah this is good yeah this isn't go ahead and let me know what items on their website you would like tools 3d printing stuff tactical stuff if they do end up having nerf stuff their stock changes a lot it's similar to nf strike or lytake where you never know what they're going to have from day to day uh, or banggood so gearbus sent me all of this stuff i am extremely appreciative of that some of it will definitely be getting used these are going to end up in all my tactical gear on all of my vests, on my backpacks. Uh, definitely looking forward to making a loadout using the holsters. I actually had an idea for modifying one of these holster sets for um, holding something different instead of pistols. I, I've got a, a build in mind, a pair of blasters that I want to build, and uh, this will hopefully work perfectly for that now that I've got a second one that I can tinker with. The other one I need to finish modifying to take... Um, for victories. But uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything on their site that you would love me to check out, and I will ask them if they're willing to send it to me. And uh, thank you guys for watching.